Hey everyone, Kaijo here. Today I'm going to be going over the Oppo Enco X2s. So I'm just going to do like a little unboxing and then just my thoughts on it and show you some of the features of it. I've had these for three weeks now. Um, they've been pretty good so far. Um, I'll just go over the specs. So these are true wireless earbuds. They come in black or white. I've got the white ones here. Um, the charging case is Qi enabled, so you can wirelessly charge it. Um, in terms of the audio codec, so it supports LHDC, AAC and SBC, noise cancellation, so it's got a couple different modes. It's got the smart noise cancellation, so that will change depending on your environment. It's got max noise can cancellation, that's pretty much the one that I've been using most of the time. Then you've got moderate, mild, and then transparency so that you can like, um, you know, hear what's going on around you if you want to. And that's pretty easy to enable. Um, so in terms of Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth 5.2. Uh, it's got a Bluetooth range of 10 meters, which is pretty good. I haven't had any problems with like disconnecting or anything. Like I've got a pair of Sony's, the WCF 100s and sometimes when I was running with my Garmin, maybe it's just the Garmin, but sometimes they would disconnect. But these I haven't had that problem with. Um, in terms of the battery life, so it's got, each earphone has a 57 milliamp hour, milliamp hour battery, then the case has a 566 milliamp hour battery. So the playtime, this is with um, so at 50% volume and max noise cancellation, you've got five hours on a single charge. And then, so that's 20 hours with the case. So you can charge up the earphones. Like It's like two hours play time for, or sorry, one hour's play time for a five minute charge or something like that. So it actually charges up quite quickly. Um, if you have noise cancelling off, then you get um, better battery life as well. Um, what else is there? Uh, uh, yeah, so it's the earphones are IP54, so like you can't obviously go swimming with them or you know wear them in the shower or something, but probably should be fine. Like in a little bit of rain, um, sweat should be fine running. Um, I haven't had any issue with it so far, so um, yeah, let's get into the unboxing and see what's in here. Um, so I got these actually, I'm in Australia and these aren't actually for sale in Australia at all. So I had to get these from Giztop in the US. I have no idea why these aren't for sale in Australia because they're actually for sale in New Zealand and they had the old ones here, the X, the, they're just called the X's, X1's, whatever you want to call them. But, um, I don't know why, but the X2's, they just haven't been brought out here and they've been you know, they've been out for, for since early in the year. So Oppo, I don't know what they're doing, but um, I really wanted a pair of these because I have the Find X5 Pro and it works really well with this, obviously. So I wanted to get these. And in Australia, the, the original Xs were the same price as the X2s, which is just stupid. Um, so yeah, I got these for, it was 210 USD and that's including shipping to Australia. So that works out at like just a little bit over 300 bucks, which is not bad considering Oppo is still selling the X's for $300 on the Australian store, which is just crazy. All right, I'll shut up now. Um, so here's the, here are the, the X2s, the case. So the case is actually pretty nice. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a, like a pebble or like a, like a small stone, smooth stone or something, but, um, it feels really good, like to hold. It's a good size. Um, sometimes like with, when you have air buds, they have kind of either really chunky fat cases or they're like weirdly shaped. Even my Sony's, they're like this long pill shape. It's like something like this. And like they're also a bit fatter so it's just a bit annoying in your pocket but these ones like you don't even notice they're in your pocket half the time they're just it's just a really nice shape and it feels 
pretty nice in the hand as well. Um, so this is the case also it's easy to open with one hand which is nice. Some of them like it's a pain but this one it's like you know it's not too loose it's pretty good and it has like that nice snap back as well. Um, yeah so that's that's pretty nice. So yeah as I said like you can charge it with the cable USB type C or you can do the wireless charging as well. So you can do it like um, if you enable the reverse wireless charge, you can charge it on your on your phone and you'll see a little um, light indicator there. Maybe I can show that a bit later on when I go over some of the features. But um, yeah, the wireless charging is pretty handy because you can just, you know, use your phone to charge it up if you're running low, which is nice. All right, let's see what else is in here. I probably normally have pretty nice packaging um it's just you know the standard books and whatever oh one of the other things um because these aren't these are i think they're only out in india and china so the voice over when you are enabling or disabling noise cancelling it's all in um chinese so but i mean you get used to it quickly and if you're really desperate to know what it is, I guess you can just like look it up or something, but it's not that much of a problem. You only really hear it when you're turning on and off the noise cancelling and you pick up what it is fairly quickly anyway. Um, so in here you also get like a USB A to C charging cable, like a tiny one, which is kind of nice actually, but um, I don't use this really because I just charge them wirelessly. And then you've got uh, the different tips. So you've got like the, I've got the largest ones in and then these are the, the medium ones. And then these are the small ones. So yeah, there's a cool tool actually on the, um, uh, either with the, the app that you can use with this, which is called, I think, Hey Melody or something. But I don't use that because with the, if you have the, the X5 Pro or I think a few of the other Oppo phones, you get all of that built into the, to the Bluetooth settings, which is cool. So you don't need an app to like do all the, you know, customizing the noise cancelling or doing the, um, they have this thing where it can measure like your ear canal and then tell you which tips fit best. Um, but yeah, so if you have one of these, then you can do that all on there, which is kind of the reason why I got it actually. All right. So I'm going to connect these to my phone and I will go through some of the settings that you can do. All right, so yeah, like I said, so if you have the five, uh, the X5 Pro, this you can do all these settings inside Oppo itself. I won't, I don't have the Melody app because I don't use it, so I'll just, um, I'll just show you on here. Um, so here, like you've got all the standard stuff, like the naming, you know, the HD audio phone calls, contact sharing, blah blah blah. So in here, then you can go to earbud functions, and this is where you get like all the all the different options so you can change the noise cancelling here so um so you've got the different levels of noise cancelling max moderate mild smart so um i normally just leave it on max that does the, like i i don't mind having everything blocked out i mean some people you know they find it weird having too much sound cancelled but you know i don't mind it um yeah so <laughs> because these are in Chinese, this is a good, when you change it, it'll tell you in the earphones um, that it's changing. So you just have to like go through these a couple of times and then you'll be able to um, tell like which is which when you hear it in your headphones. So the, tr the transparency mode is pretty good for if you want to, um, you know, get voices in and it's easy to change. It's just like one long press on the on the headphones. 
I should probably also just go over the controls quickly. Uh, where are they? Earbud controls. All right, so these are the controls. So um, by default, they're the same on both ears. So, um, so you've got play pause is one squeeze, double squeeze next, triple squeeze goes back, and then you slide on like the inside of the headphone, just like uh, just along here for the volume. Pretty easy to use. I kind of prefer the squeeze over the buttons just because if you're like lying down in bed or something, if you have buttons, sometimes you can accidentally click or, you know, stop, stop the music or stop what you're listening to. But if you have the squeeze, that doesn't really happen, which is also like a good a good feature of this. So there's also the in-ear detection. So this is, um, so if you've got something playing and then you pull it out of your ear, it will stop playing, which is cool. And then if you put it back in, then it will resume. Um, the other thing you can turn on, I don't use this, but you can make it so that if you take the earbud out, it will then start playing through like whatever it's connected to. It could be like your phone or, you know, swap to a different source, which is, I, I don't know why you would want to do that, but because um, I feel like you just end up blasting your music like on the train or something stupid like that. But um, yes, I'm just, I just don't use that. Um, so you, the other cool things you can do, you can connect two devices as one, which is pretty nice. So this is good because um, like, for work, I'll have this connected to my laptop as well as my phone. And then you can just like swap between it. Like if I want to like go for a walk or whatever, I don't have to, you know, put them, put them back in the case and do the, the connecting. Actually, I forgot to mention that, but the way you pair these, there's this tiny button. I don't even know if you can see it on there, but you hold that and then it um, puts it in pairing mode. Case has to be open as well and the earbuds have to be in here as well. So yeah, just something to note when you're wanting to swap them around, but that's why it's good it has this dual connection thing because then you don't have to do that all the time. So yeah, the other thing that I wanted to show was the fit test. So this is pretty cool. It can tell you if you're, if, if the, um, the tips are the right ones. Let's see if mine are good. I did do this the other day, but um, Sometimes it said they weren't fitting properly. Average. Yeah. Maybe I just don't know how to put them in properly. <laughs> so when this is happening, it's like playing a tone. But, um... Alright, uh, what else is there that I want to go over? So there is the, um the golden sound. So this is how you can, you can get like a custom kind of EQ based on your like hearing levels. So what it kind of does is it does the scan, like a scan of your canal and then it does a hearing test. And so when this is happening, you're getting like a wave sound in your ear, like ocean sounds or whatever. So once that's done, it'll play a bunch of different tones and then you have to like set um, the level that you stop hearing it. So yeah, I did that early. It takes probably like five or 10 minutes, but you know, I didn't know the diff, I didn't think I heard any difference, but you know, I just will do it anyway. Um, in terms of the EQ, the master EQ, I just have it on Dino Audio Reel. Um, like Punchy is okay, it does up the bass like a fair bit and the Enco X Classic is kind of similar. These, um, like these earbuds, if you want ones that are like super bassy, these probably aren't the ones for you. Like this is more, has like a very balanced sound stage where it's not, you know, it's not, the bass isn't like overpowering anything. So, you know, I kind of prefer that. I guess it would depend on what music you listen to, but um, you can change the EQ a little bit if you want it to be, you know, more punchy, more bassy, which is also like good that it has these EQ options. So 
Uh, what else is there? So find my earbuds. I haven't actually tried this yet. I should probably turn these on. Let's see what they sound like. All right, yeah. It's actually pretty loud. I shouldn't have done that while it was in my ear. <laughs> All right, let's stop that. That's pretty annoying. So the other thing that I wanted to show was the, because I think this is pretty much, oh yeah, the, the camera related stuff. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show, the bi, the bi, nan, the bi neural recording. So this is like when you're video recording stuff, um, this will only work on Oppo phones, but you can, it can use the microphones from the, the, um, the earbuds as well to give you a better listening like or better audio on your videos i haven't tried it yet but i'll i was going to give it a go on here so i will film um some maybe i'll do like some spotify music or something on the tv um with the earbuds on and then with them off as well and then just see you know see what the difference is like i'll probably end the video with that test um don't think there's anything else to go over here but um yeah so far these have been really good like connecting them to different devices is super quick um which is nice because sometimes it's such a pain in the ass to connect um earbuds to different devices i don't know why it's so difficult but this has the google uh, quick connect which helps a lot i think um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying these. The noise cancellation is very good. Um, and just the sound, like for music, I like the balanced soundstage. It's very, um, like clear, has good mids, good highs, and the bass isn't too, um, overpowering, which is, um, which is pretty nice actually. Because sometimes, um, like I find with the Sony ones that I have, sometimes it's a bit too much, um, but that's, you know, it's just a personal preference, I guess. But um, yeah, if you want bassy ones, probably not the ones for you. But if you like that clean, just like good medium sound stage, these are perfect for that. They sound really good. All right, so I'll end it there. I will um, do the video test and audio test and just, um, yeah, end it there. Cool. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so as promised, um, so I'll do the video recording without the earbuds first. Um, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this, but we'll see how we go. Okay, have a listen. test for me because I actually I just got these this Polk this thing here this is the Polk Mi magnified mini AX and I just got it uh, like two weeks ago and this thing is like crazy I like it's tiny tiny soundbar but it sounds I don't know if you can hear it but it sounds like ridiculously good it has like a small sub hidden away over here in the corner and uh, it just sounds unreal all right uh, I'm gonna chuck in the earbuds and I will do the other test. All right. Okay, so this is gonna be with the earbuds. All right, let's see if it sounds any different.
I'm going to end it there. All right, thanks for watching, guys.